Hey fans, welcome back to Gigabyte's Motherboards and Bricks channel. My name is Leon Chen and if you guys haven't heard, AMD has just launched their newest AM4 platform. This platform supports the new Ryzen processors and today you're lucky enough to get to see an unboxing of our AX370 Gaming 5. This is another motherboard from our Oris Gaming Series brand and this motherboard supports all of the Ryzen CPUs from the high-end 1800X all the way down to the 1700. So let's look at the box and we'll take out the board so you guys can know what to expect when you start your new AM4 Ryzen PC build. So on the box you can see that this board has a lot of the features that you've seen we, us talking about when we're looking at Oris. It has the RGB Fusion, <clears throat> so you have control in our Gigabyte App Center as well as the RGB Fusion app uh, in different zones as well as uh, support for RGBW light strips and RGB UV light strips. It also has Smart Fan 5, and with Smart Fan 5, you have that independent fan control. You can set the different fan curves in the App Center or in the BIOS. And one of the good benefits about Smart Fan 5 it's, is that it utilizes all of the hybrid fan pin headers. So all of the pin headers on the board are hybrid fan pin headers. They can automatically detect what type of peripheral or fan you connect to the device, uh, connect to the pins. So whether it's a pump or a high current fan, the pin headers will automatically detect it. Not only that, you can actually change the respective fan pin headers thermal readout. So depending on if you want it to read from the CPU or from the chipset, it'll actually ramp up or ramp down depending on the temperature of the item you select. And with Smart Fan 5, it also supports water flow sensors as well as water temperature sensors. And as you can see, this board does support that Ryzen X370 chipset. It has a killer NIC and this is VR ready. So if you do want that best VR experience for all of you VR pioneers, this is definitely one of the boards to look at. And with that new AM4 socket, you get USB 3.1 Gen 2 on it. We also have NVMe support from U.2 to M.2. And as we flip it around to the back, you can see the different features we were talking about. The RGB fusion, you get the lit up armor, you have the memory, uh, the LED diffusers between the memory slots. You have the support for the RGB LED strips, RGBW, RGB UV. And one of the improvements we made to this one is our dual audio codec. So you can actually see that on this board, it has dual audio functionality where we have audio code and audio chip for the front and the rear of the board. And with that, it has a smart headphone man amp. So it can, again, automatically detect the impedance of the type of headphones you connect to the jack on the rear or the front of the PC. You have your Smart Fan 5 with nine thermistors, uh, thermal sensors on the board, as well as eight fan pin headers. And of course, this board does have dual NICs. It has a killer NIC and an Intel NIC, and it supports the multi-graphics, so two-way crossfire or two-way SLI, and all of the other different feature sets that we've listed below. And some of these you guys might have heard of before, such as our USB DAC up 2, which is great because we've improved on it by allowing it to give better compatibility and support for power-hungry devices such as VR headsets, your RGB LED keyboards, or anything that's very power-hungry such as external hard drives. And we've talked about the U.2, so let's take everything out. You can see what comes in the box as well as what is on the board, and we'll do a brief overview so you guys can get a better look. All right, guys. So we have all of the accessories laid out in front of you. You get your you uh, you get your user's manual. You get your multilingual installation guide, a driver disc. Of course, for most updated drivers, go to the gigabyte.com website or oris.com website and go to your product page to get the most updated drivers on the site. We have our rear I/O. We have cable management ties as well as labels for you to label your SATA cables. You have two external thermistors cables to actually. Uh, test different thermal temperature readouts or, or thermal readouts from either your graphics card or your solid state drive or even mechanical drive. You have an RGBW extension cable so you can connect this to the bottom of your RGBW pin header and extend that cable all the way out to where you want to start the LEDs um, from lighting. You also have your an SLI bridge so you can actually bridge together two um, graphics cards and of course two packs of SATA cables 
each pack containing one right angle connector, so that's a total of four SATA cables available for you. You have an ORS case badge, as well as a G connector to let you install your front panel headers very simply and easily. All right, so that wraps it up for the accessories inside the box. Let's move on to the board. If you AMD fans aren't excited yet, it's time to get excited because we're going to be looking at the board. So, as you can see, this is the Aorus AX370 Gaming 5. We talked about how it has all of those cool features from RGB Fusion to Smart Fan 5. It has 8 pin headers and 9 thermal sensors. Some of the thermal sensors you can't see, but there are 2 external thermal sensors. So, let's do a quick count. We have one of the hybrid fan pin headers at the top where the CPU power is. We have an, another additional two right here, our CPU fan and CPU optional. We have two system fans here that gives us a total of five. And then we have another three hybrid fan pin headers at the bottom that gives us a total of eight. The two thermistors we were talking about earlier is right here. We have one external, external thermistor sensor at the bottom and another one at the top. So you can actually connect the included thermal sensors to either your hard drive, your graphics card, so you can get a better look at what the temperature readout is, all from the SmartFan 5 application. So when we're looking at this board, you can see that it has the retention brackets many of you guys are familiar with. If you're using a cooling solution that is using the retention brackets to hold your fan down, you can continue to use that for the AM4 platform. If you're using one that has a backplate, you need to purchase a new backplate from the third party manufacturer that creates that cooler for you. So just something to keep in mind when you guys are doing your upgrades. You can see it has this Aorus back shielding, so it has the armor right here along the rear I.O. Um, it does support the four DIMMs, DDR4, it has a quick power button, quick OC button, clear CMOS, as well as a reset button right here. And this Accent LED overlay is actually an interchangeable overlay so if you find us at events or if you go online we often do promotions you can see the different um, types of overlays that we have available and you might be able to win some or get some from us. You have two USB 3.0 headers right here, U.2 for NVMe support and you have SATA Express on the side you can see. So two SATA Express uh, ports for you to use, and a total of six SATA a uh, total of eight SATA ports. Sorry, eight SATA ports for you to connect your SSDs or mechanical drives. And as we move down, you can see the front panel pin header connector, where you can actually use that G connector we showed you previously. And right at the bottom, you have your debug LED, so you can actually see what issues might arise if the system stops or if it does a reset on you. Uh, an unexpected reset and you can see what the error code is. Now with our ORS motherboards many of you have already seen we've included diagnostic LEDs so right at the side here there's actually four LEDs and these four LEDs allow users to quickly diagnose the issue with their system whether it's VGA their graphics card or a memory or a boot issue or a CPU issue. So if any of those aren't seated properly, the light will light up and illuminate showing you exactly what component is causing the problems. You have an additional two more USB 2.0s, TPM connector. Right here we have our RGBW uh, pin headers for our RGBW and R or RGB UV LED strips. You have your audio, audio switches so you can actually change the impedance or the number of ohms directly correlated with that. And you also have your BIOS switch. Sorry, these are BIOS switches. So this is your single BIOS and your dual BIOS switches, so you can switch between the two. You have your front panel audio. And as we move up through the board, you can see that all of these PCI slots are reinforced with ultra durable metal shielding. And this also applies for our memory DIMMs right here as well. So they're all supported with the ultra durable armor that you'll find on our Aorus Gaming Series motherboards. It has an M.2 available for users to use if they want to use that new NVMe technology for M.2s and it goes up to 110 millimeters in length. And as we finish the board, many of you guys, uh, we talked about uh, this board having dual audio codecs or dual audio chips on board. We showed a picture of it uh, on our Facebook page, that's Gigabyte Motherboards. If you go search, you can actually see that there are actually two audio chips right beneath here, giving you better audio and immersive, an immersive audio experience for, for your rear connection as well as your front panel header connection. 
As we move to the back, you can actually see that we have, we still have PS2 support. We have the USB DAC up 2. And again, we mentioned this is great for VR technologies, any power hungry devices, external USB drives. You can actually adjust the voltage for devices that have a very long cable and often drop out due to that uh, long cable. HDMI, USB 3.1 Gen 1, that's 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we have four USB 3.1 Gen 2s and one in Type-C. And of course, a dual NIC setup, one being a killer NIC and one being an Intel NIC. And gold-plated audio jacks. So that basically wraps up our review and over our overview and unboxing of our AX370 Gaming 5. We hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you guys do any system builds, be sure to share with us. If you like what you saw, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. If you guys want to find out more information about Gigabyte, be sure to like us on our Facebook page. That's facebook.com forward slash Gigabyte Motherboards. All right, you're watching the official channel of Gigabyte Motherboards and Bricks at youtube.com forward slash Gigabyte Motherboards. My name's Leon, and we'll see you guys next time.